let us solve number 3. So, solve the triangle AB thing given side A equal to 322, side C equal to 212, and angle B equal to 110 degrees 50 minutes. So, we have a given triangle with the given value. And obviously, the unknowns here are side B, angle A, and angle C. So, again, this is case number 4. Since we have two sides and the included angle. So, we are going to use cosine law to solve the third side. Solution. Since the unknown side here is side B, so we can write B square equal to A square plus B square minus 2AC cosine of angle B. Okay, then substitute the given. 322 square plus 212 square. So here we have 197,184.29. So this is only B square. So therefore, B here is simply take the square root of both sides. So square root of 197,184. 0 0.29 equal to 444.05 444.05 units okay, so our answer for side B is correct so we can also solve either angle A or angle C so let us solve first for angle A using sine law so sine A over side A equal to sine of B over side B. So, sine A equal to so A multiplied by sine B over B equals A is 322 multiplied by sine B 110 degrees 50 minutes all over so this one, so 444.05. So sine A will be, so sine A is equal to 0 0.6778. Solving for angle A. So angle A here is simply the inverse sine of 0 0.6778. 42.8. 42.67 degrees that is for angle A then lastly for angle C that is simply 180 minus the two angles so angle A is 42.67 that 42.67 can also be written as 42 degrees 40 minutes okay, so angle A is 42 degrees 40 minutes and your angle B is 110 degrees 50 minutes. So the answer here is 26.5 degrees or that is equal to 26 degrees 30 minutes. Okay, for number 4, two forces of 17.5 and 22.5 pounds upon a body if their directions Make an angle of 50 degrees 10 minutes with each other. Find the magnitude of the resultant and the angle that it makes with the larger force. So the given forces are 17.5 and 22.5 pounds. So we are required to solve the resultant. So R here is the resultant which is side B of the triangle here. So this is your resultant. And the angle that it makes with the larger force. So the larger force here is the force uh, 22.5 pounds. So therefore, we are going to solve this angle. Let us put a variable for this angle. Let us say this is angle CAB. So the required here are R, which is equal to B also, the resultant, and the angle CAB or BAC. The given angle which is... Uh, 50 degrees 10 minutes is this one. So 
So therefore, we can solve this angle. If you will remember our first topic about the relation of this angle, their sum is actually 180. So if you will relate these two parallel lines and the transversal here, so this is or these are equal or similar to B and E or C and H. So they are interior angles. So their sum is 180. So therefore, if this is 50 degrees 10 minutes, subtract that to 180. So 180 minus 50 degrees 10 minutes, that is equal to 129.83 degrees or 129 degrees 50 minutes. Then from that, we form a triangle, an oblique triangle with sides 22.5 and 17.5. Uh, this side is equal to this one, so or 17.5. And the interior angles or included angle, which is equal to 129 degrees 50 minutes. So we have again case 4, which means we are going to solve first for the resultant using cosine law. Solution for R using cosine law. So R square, which is equal to B square, the unknown equal to the other two sides so a square plus c square minus 2ac cosine of the included angle which is equal to 129 degrees 50 minutes so substituting the given value so a here is 17.5 square plus your c is 22.5 square minus 2 multiplied by 17.5. So this is equal to 1316.94. Take note that this is only r square or b square. So therefore we can solve r by simply taking the square root of both sides. So, square root of 1316.94 that is 36.29 that is pounds so the next unknown here is angle CAB so next solution for angle CAB we can now use sine law so using sine law so sine of angle CAB over the opposite side of CAB is angle A or side A equal to let us now use angle B sine B over the resultant or side B. So we can use R or B. So sine angle CAB equal to side A sine of angle B over R. This is now equal to side A, 17.5 multiplied by sine of angle B, 129 degree, 50 minutes, all over 36.29 equal to 0 0.3703. Therefore, angle CAB here is the inverse sine of this one, the inverse sine of 0 0.3703, so that is equal to 27.73 degrees. That's all for this video.